Hey everybody, sorry for the sun, but I can't seem to get a good angle on this. Uh, Odin and I are on the Rutland Trail. It is April 23rd, and as you can see, this trail is a wee bit muddy. It used to be part of the Rutland Railroad, and there are a series of I think three geocaches on this end of the trail in St. Lawrence County. All right, I'm gonna have to unhook him. Okay. We are seven tenths of a mile from the geocache. Uh, I don't know if there is an easier way to get to this. There's another, I didn't see it on the map. This is just one mud hole after another. Not entirely sure I want to do this, so there were people on mountain bikes and we just came to this giant puddle with no real clear way. I'd have to bushwhack my way through there and or and over there is not really any better. I'm not sure if that's a private property. The bike people turn right up ahead there, right where the water ends, it turns. Um, but it looks like it dries out from here on. And but that looks deep. Odin will go right through it, I imagine. But I had to put him on a leash because I didn't know what was coming. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just let him go and I'm gonna scout it out. So I just forded around that uh, that uh, water hole and the road's right here. So on the way back out, we will be taking that road. That I believe is the Cook Road. In case anybody comes down here looking for Rutland Trail Number One, um, I think this is a snowmobile. That's why. I saw a bunch of horse crap, so um, apparently it's also people who ride horses on here, but I'm guessing those people on mountain bikes were in better territory than this, than what we previously, <coughs> excuse me, have done. So I think we're going to be better off here. This is a half a mile. So total, this is going to be 0.7 from where we parked. Might be a little longer if we go back on that road. So, Odin's definitely gonna be tired after this. Came across this big swamp. We're in 15 feet, but we're gonna go back in this direction. Okay. Straight out. That side is posted. I have a hard time with this, so we're close, but it's off to the side here. So I gotta, so I gotta climb this hill. Let's focus. Gotta climb this hill and see if we're going in the right direction. All right, we are within 11 feet of this thing, and I don't know what time it is. I didn't bother to check, but uh, Odin's a little tuckered. We just came across the people, maybe six or so of them on horseback, so we had to get up the hill anyway. So we went up the hill and uh, got out of the way, and they were friendly and everything. But Odin was very interested in the horses, but I don't even want to know how that would go. So uh, all right, I'm gonna put now. This says I'm I'm five feet from it, so. Uh, we're going to put the camera away, so I don't want to reveal the exact location. So we found it. Odin's exploring. I, I told him to rest, but you know how he listens real well. So. Yeah, thinks it's food. So, that's a nice container. It's one of those lock a lot. It's a nice detaching. It is then tied inside of a pasta grocery bag. Hold on a sec while I get into that. So that's a logbook. It's a touch damp, not too bad. Okay, I'll sign the logbook here. Here, probably they're coming. So, we'll hook him up. Just in case.
So we sign the log book. Oh, this has a little damp. That was going to zip off with a pencil. Mm -hmm. bad this area. At least no trace. Cord, plastic arming ring. I don't usually take or leave anything, I usually just find the log book. So I'm gonna put this back together. All right, mission accomplished. We found that one. Um, he had to go up that steep hill, it was hard for him. Got his he's limping a little bit. Careful, there's posts to land on the other side, so don't go on the wrong, wrong one. our first might be our first find of the year if I remember correctly so we're now on our way back we've got roughly 0.7 miles to go but I was gonna there he is way down there I was gonna bring my trekking pole with the stick deck so I could move this thing further away from my face but he'd be in so close up on my face but I didn't bother but that's in the car so I think we're just going to plot of water along through here. I think this trail is 30 something miles and it goes from a wire in New York. Actually runs right behind the house. I mean not right behind the house but if I own property back to it, it would be right behind the house but I don't. Uh, part of the railroad that used to run behind my grandparents house. They no longer live there. They're both deceased but Let's go, it's like I said, it goes from Wyra to uh, North Lawrence, I believe. Of the actual part that's called the Rutland Trail. The tracks, the abandoned tracks, actually extend further than that. But they're probably privately owned at this point. Well, let's pick it up. Oh, let's get in the water. Can you get out of there, all right? Yeah, just walk right through those sticks, that's good. Oh hey boy, you're doing good for an old boy. There's water everywhere, but I'd like to add this to my list of things to hike, but 34 miles is not gonna happen with me uh, overnight, or in a day, I mean. I'd have to at least do one night over. I'd say two, but I don't know what the camping situation is along this track. Several parts of this, the part from Hawaii over to North Lawrence are privately owned and people let you go on it there is a not sure what happened there the camera cut out and cut me off right here in my speech but uh, I had to leash him again there's we're very close to private property and there's a little dog barking so we're gonna leash him we are <clears throat> 0.4 miles from the catch so 0.3 to the car if we can if we go straight but we're, we're gonna get off and go on the uh, on the road it should be easier walking hopefully for him so he wants to go those puddles of tire I'm not exactly in the best shape either so so anyway before the camera cut off for whatever reason um, I'd like to do the whole trail and camp over a couple of nights um, there's sections that are privately owned and there's sections that are state owned so you'd have to kind of figure out which is which so you don't get nailed trespassing somewhere and there's a section towards the, the North Lawrence where some the yogurt company yeah, it used to be an ice cream company um, they bought a big section and they when they first bought it they let it open to the public but they closed it for some ecological project they had going on all right so this is the why where those bikers cut off and where we're gonna go onto the road yeah this is money be better to wait and do this a little when it's uh, dry. Alright, so it's gonna be a left here. 
we drove up this road, but I missed this little thing here. It's a little pull off. So anyway, I'd like to camp overnight and do this trail. Odin, 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 Odin. Even though he's limping, he's still pulling. He wants to go somewhere. And of course, he's filthy. Not as bad as he has been, but. Point five on the GPS. You can hear the cars on the road. Some of the, so some of the sections are privately owned, like I said, and uh, people have given permission for you to hike on them, or mountain bike, or horse ride, or apparently snowmobiles and ATVs. Um, so, uh, but I don't know what the situation with them allowing camping on their property is. There are two other geocaches, Rutland Trail 2 and 3. I don't know if there's more than that uh, nearby, but we're going to do those another day because he's limping pretty good and I don't want to push him. This is where having short arms really sucks because it's, it's one of the reasons that I don't do a lot of selfies because you just can't get a good angle with short little T-Rex arms. But this is all part of my plan to condition myself to be able to walk a lot further than this. So, we're almost to the road. Um, that was geocaching with Odin on the Rutland Trail. And we found it. I want to log that when I get back to the car. So, thanks for watching everybody and get out there and enjoy uh, the outdoors.